Welcome back to another Teacher of the Year Profile. We're here with Derek Dykstra. Uh, Derek uh, is a teacher in the Natomas Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting me. All right. So now you teach at Natomas High School, or where do you teach? Intercom High School. In Intercom High School. But yeah. you are, if I were to say you were a math teacher, that would just be underselling everything you're doing, right? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's one of, the, one of the things that I do at Intercom High School. Uh, there's a number of things that that, that school offers me, and it's it, a lot in part because of the administration team. You know, when I was in mortgage lending, they let me, gave me some guidelines, and they said, now go go create. And that's basically what they've done at Intercom. So I've taken advantage of being involved in the Link Crew program as their coordinator. I'm a class advisor uh, for usually the, the freshman class. Uh, I coach, uh, or I'm assistant uh, varsity soccer coach for the boys. Uh, and the list goes on. So explain what Link Crew is for people who don't know. Link Crew is a mentoring program that allows us to uh, take the, the higher levels, the juniors and seniors, and connect them to the incoming freshmen. So that mentoring program then helps bridge the gap between the familiarity of high school and the unfamiliarity of high school and gives them someone right away to connect with and gives them a friend. Uh, in many cases these students come from a middle school or maybe they had a good group of friends but now they're looking to change that group of friends or they're looking just to feel safe on a big giant campus and what better than a junior or senior to walk you around campus and help you and say hi to in the hall and make you feel like you're part of something big. So really, two people benefit from that, the student who's being mentored, but the older student. Kind of talk about how that leadership responsibility is helpful to the older student. The older student gets to plan the activities that we do. And so every, every month or month and a half or so, we have different activities to where uh, the first one is about getting connected. So we present a list of all the different clubs, the band, uh, sports organizations, everything that's involved in our campus. And we go through and, and that uh, junior, senior can then get a feel of what they might be interested in and encourage them to, during club rush, to go be a member of a club. They'll also figure out what sport they're going to play so they can go support them later. Um, later we talk about uh, a topic of respect where it's a, usually around homecoming and so we want to get them to feel respectful about maybe their their friend or their partner or whatever it might be as well as just what it means to be a tiger and how you can respect the school and the campus and respect the tiger name because that's really what it comes down to so you teach high level math correct yes so uh, <laughs> what, what does that make you laugh <laughs> well because it's just it, it, it's interesting um it, it is high level but it we we get all kinds of students in those classes. Okay. Uh, the, the thought is that because you, they're calculus students, that they're all dreamy students and they're wonderful and they do all these things and they know everything. Uh, many cases we get students that struggled through algebra and geometry and so forth and they, they're in calculus now, but they still struggle. So it's a really a great opportunity to teach something that's highly difficult to students that maybe have a challenge before, but now they can start to understand what it means to get a bigger scope, a bigger vision for math. Explain what you mean by bigger vision of math. Well, we get used to the same, you know, uh, linear progression, um, geometrical shapes and so forth, but as soon as we get into calculus, we are starting to talk about rates of change and how things move, and so we get into problem solving that's a little bit more complex. So they really have to work on their cognition and be able to really solve that problem in a way that you can't just do if you're if it's more simplistic. But based on those simplistic models, then they can feel confident that they know how to do the, the, the tougher stuff. And as soon as they get that, they go, that's it? That's all you do? And you're like, yeah, that's it, man. That's calculus right there. And they're like, wow, this is easy. You know? So you teach IB mathematics. Correct. Explain what IB is. International Baccalaureate Program is a world uh, program that if I have a student here in Natomas and that student then travels to somewhere else in the country, I know, or in the world uh, for that matter, I know that they're going to be teaching the same material that I'm teaching. And that student, that parent, will be able to take that student and 
go, oh, we're going to go visit this IB math class, and it's going to be the same stuff that I have. So that's nice because uh, it offers, uh, for a very diverse culture that we have in Natomas, a, a, a movement of communities where we're able to give those students a chance to excel here, but then be ready to move into the world where they could go to school. Maybe it's far away, maybe it's close. So, uh, and then connect afterwards in their um, job or career that they might have. And obviously that will look good for college admissions and that type of thing. Yeah, correct? it really does. It really does. Because it's a rigorous course. Uh, we really put the students through uh, a lot of challenge to get there's a lot of things they have to do. One of the things they have to do is write a, a, a paper about math. And it's about a 10 to 12 page paper and how they take one concept of math and write about it. So it's, um, it's not easy. Some people it's easy to solve a problem, but then if you have to write about it, then it gets a little bit more challenging. Well, and, and not every school, not every district has IB programs. That's correct. It's, yeah. it's, I wouldn't say rare, but it's, not un, it's unusual. It, it, yeah, yeah, it is. So it really gives them something that uh, they can look forward to. And we get a lot of students at our school because the parent wants the IB program. And so when they walk into our campus, they feel like then they're in a part of another big system that they can get then uh, take globally with them in the future. You had mentioned earlier that students have to write a paper about math. How challenging is that for, for a student to put math into words? It it can be very challenging for them. Uh, we really have to work with them and guide them uh, through that process and make sure that as they're going through the process, um, they understand what they're writing about and build that content. And we, we start with mind mapping it, where we come up with a concept and what are all the different pieces that you can get from this and how much time should I spend in this area versus another area. The nice thing about that, though, is that they're writing the paper to a peer. So it's not like they're trying to present this paper to a professor or someone to create some thesis. It's just, hey, this is what I found about this topic. It's pretty cool. Here's what I learned about it, and here's why. So had you always wanted to be a math teacher? Uh, no, <laughs> not necessarily. Um, it took a good friend of mine, a soccer player, Amrik, who uh, teaches or works at Natomas Unified. We play soccer together. And when I was going through the schooling process and trying to figure out what I wanted to do, because I enjoy geology and science and chemistry, and I took a, d a bunch of different classes over at American River College before I uh, became uh, interested in teaching, because I really want to figure out what my brain liked to do. And he told me, he's like, look, Derek, if you, will, if you, if you know math and you want to be a teacher for long term, math is the way to go. Because there's not a lot of people that really want to go get a math degree. I mean, think about it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a challenging subject. So, it, But if you're good at it, then go for it and you'll have a career in uh, teaching for a very long time with math. So what does it mean to you now to be named as a, as a teacher of the year for your district? What's that like? <laughs> it, it's, it's pretty unbelievable, actually. Uh, I've only been teaching three years. And so to get to this point where I feel like I've made an impact on not only the students' lives, but uh, administration and my colleagues at, at school. I really feel well supported. Um, when some of my colleagues at school mentioned that they had nominated me, I was like, what? And they're like, you do everything on campus, man. You're at all the games. You do a lot of the activities. And um, it, you're just there countless hours. Uh, but a lot of them are, too, though. So. I, I take this honor really well to heart because I know that if it weren't for all of that group that I have that supports one another, then I may not be sitting here. I mean, honestly, as well as many of the other admin teams and the uh, superintendent, assistant superintendent within Natomas Unified, these people have been supporters of mine since day one, and it's, it's been a real pleasure to work with them. And you're representing you know, really all the teachers in Natomas Unified. Yeah, that's a pretty awesome responsibility. It is. And uh, I, I can tell you take it seriously. I do. I yeah. do. Because I understand that we, we need a good voice. And um, I, 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 it's hard to believe that it's me. But at the same time, I'm very honored. And, and I feel as though that I want to do them right by uh, letting everybody know what, what it is a great place we have to work at at Intercom High School and work for a great district. 
So I'm excited about that. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you. We've been speaking with uh, Derek Dykstra, who is the Teacher of the Year for the Natomas Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.